Hey, you all, a carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Erie, Pennsylvania, next to Lake Erie. And even more specifically than that, we are at Waldemere. Now, Waldemere, a small amusement park, but still one of my personal favorites. Uh, some amazing stuff within the borders of this park. So I figured it, 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 it's been a while. I'd stop back in here to visit uh, Waldemere. Now, well, the name Waldemere means woods by the sea. You can see the woods around us, and we are next to the sea, also known as Lake Erie. So we're gonna have some fun today. Please follow me. The music express here. I can't hear a lot of music, but I can hear a lot of screams. Oh, there. Finally, the screaming is over. Been trying to make a point of checking out all the different. Uh, carousels they have at amusement parks around the country. So here is the Waldemir carousel. Oh, I do like that, that dragon right there. That's pretty cool. Mostly horses, but a few uh, dragons mixed within. All right, let's find us a steed. I think we are gonna have to go for the dragon here. Really cool. Kind of like a horse dragon with a tail. What would you call that? Is that a, is this a Kelpie maybe? A mythical creature? I don't know, we'll see, uh, hop aboard and then go for a ride. All right, and we do have the carousel almost all to ourselves. There was a, uh, a child that had gone to ride the other dragon on, uh, on the other side, on the opposite side of the carousel. Looks like it's all horses except for the two dragons. So it does appear, they do call this a merry-go-round. Now some people have said that a merry-go-round is like a carousel, but instead of horses, there's other animals. This has all horses, but two dragons. So I would say the, the, the difference between merry-go-round and carousel seems to be pretty uh, negligible. I think, I think it's pretty much, they're pretty much the same thing. These dragons, these dragons are pretty sweet. Dude, I do, I do like the dragon. Again, uh, is this a dragon? I was thinking there's like a mythical, uh, like horse-like creature that comes out of the water called a kelpie. I was wondering if this was a kelpie or just a, you know, just a normal horse dragon. And the merry-go-round structure also contains a restaurant called Pizza Go Round. Some carnival games here: the balloons, the water race there. Uh, it's like there you throw some balls in, try to get them in the uh, in the colored holes. And possibly the greatest treasure here at Waldemere is this, the Wacky Shack. This is a original dark ride created by uh, the king of dark rides, Mr. Bill Tracy. So yes, Bill Tracy, the master of the dark ride, created some of the great spooky dark rides in the 1960s and 70s. And there still is a smattering of them across the United States, but quite a bit of them have been changed, altered, they've added new uh, new scares in them, more more uh, updated uh, animatronics and things like that, that are, you know, it's good to, to update things, but it, some of them have kind of lost sight of uh, what, like the pure form of the Bill Tracy dark ride. The Wacky Shack, however, is probably the one that stays truest to Bill Tracy's original vision. So here at Waldemere, kind of almost a, a museum piece here, one of the, uh, the, the, the most intact of the Bill Tracy dark rides still here. I got an opportunity a few years back to do a behind the scenes tour, which is still one of my favorite videos I've ever done. So if you want to check that out, I think that's a great video. 
But now we're just gonna we're just gonna hop aboard the wacky shack. You see the very distinct exterior here, the uh, rotating crazy eyes on top of the wacky shack. Chariot awaits. Here we go. Into the darkness. Oh. See the repeating hallway here. Oh. See it spin. The freaky, the freaky music there. This severed head dangling there. Look at the spiders dancing at the end of the hallway. Oh, the witch there. Oh, watch it. Ah! Jeez. Oh, big, big, big drop. Look at this very, very ominous optical illusion there. We look up, we can see the, the skeleton construction worker up there at the top. Oh, this room is very disorientating. there. Woohoo! Ah, so scary! The ghoul up there. Shark infested waters. Oh, the big giant rat! He's got a severed head. Oh, so good. One of my favorites. Now, they do have another Bill Tracy attraction here. The Pirate's Cove, it's a uh, walk-through funhouse-like attraction. Unfortunately, it does appear that it is not opened today. I'm not sure if it's not open yet for the season or just closed for the day or some other reason, but any, either way, it's uh, not operating today. Um, I did get a chance to go through it uh, probably about two years, two years ago. Uh, definitely worth checking out uh, if it is open. But sadly, I won't be able to take you guys through it today. Now, the other day when I was at uh, Marineland, I uh, decided not to ride the giant uh, drop tower they had. I thought maybe I'd try out a uh, smaller, gentler uh, drop tower first. So uh, maybe we'll give this a try. This uh, X-Scream, they call it. There they go. They uh, slowly ascend there. A nice, a nice gentle uh, ride to the top. That gradual climb it gives you it gives you time to think about it as they take you up top. Oh, and they just drop right down. Okay, that's better because they didn't have to wait. They didn't have to wait at the top. So, okay, I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see how uh, how we do on this drop tower. I think this is a a starter drop tower, if you will. All right. Uh, seat looks as good as any. 
All right, buckled in. No turning back now. I'm trying to think, I've been on like very small drop towers. I think this is the biggest one I've been on. Like I said, I don't think this is as tall as the one at Marine Land. Um, and it just does one drop. It doesn't do the tease you stuff. And it seems to drop right when it hits the top. It doesn't like leave you dangling. So we're gonna, we're gonna experience this together. Oh, here we go. No turning back. It's not that bad. Nice gentle lift. You can see almost all of Waldemere from up here. Oh, look at that over there. You can actually see Lake Erie. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know how uh, close we are to the top. I can't tell. Oh my God, I don't like this. I wish I wasn't up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're so high up here. So high up here. Just let me down, let me down. Are we here yet? Are we there yet? Oh, it's really beautiful up here. It's really beautiful up here. You can see the lake. Beautiful lake, beautiful breeze from the lake. Oh my gosh, this is so high. Ah! Oh, that was scary. Yeah, I don't know if that was encouraging or not. Oh my gosh, I, uh, uh, the going up was nice. Seeing the view was nice. Plummeting back down to earth, not so nice. It's really like, this one's kind of interesting because most drop towers, you stop at the top. Whoa. This one, you drop as soon as you hit the top. And when you're in those seats, you can't really see where the top is. So you just never know when you're gonna suddenly start dropping. It was really terrifying. I don't know if this is gonna encourage me to actually ride more drop towers or possibly, possibly never again. Here is the spider. I noticed the spider ride itself kind of rare because um, it actually takes a super long time for them to load all the people in and out. So uh, not often you don't, you don't see that many spiders around. I think we'll try out a kinder, gentler experience here with the sky ride. Here come. And off we head Skyforth. So there was actually a little, little bit of an incident there. Um, while I was waiting for the sky lift, this, this, this lady uh, came up and she was very, very angry. Um, and she accused two little, two little boys of, of spinning on her from the sky lift. And uh, there was some, some, some temper, some, some hot temper there momentarily. The, uh, the staff though looked like they, they calmed the situation down, uh, and took the, uh, the appropriate precautions. They, they detained the uh, two children that were responsible for the, uh, the spitting incident, which just let, let me say, that is, uh, don't spit from the sky lift. That's like, that's like the worst thing you could do is spit on someone from the, that was so gross. That would ruin anyone's day to get spit on from the sky lift. I would probably be angry as well if someone spit on me from a sky lift. Yeah, with great power comes great responsibility. And when you are on the sky lift, you have to uh, take the responsibility that you're not going to spit on the people below you. You're not gonna drop things on them. You're not gonna drop your shoe on somebody. You know, you, 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 you just think about it. You know, it's a golden rule. You gotta do what, uh, what uh, you, you treat others as you wanna be treated. You don't spit on people because you probably don't wanna be spit on. And uh, you don't drop things on people because you don't wanna be, uh, have things dropped on your head. Just, you know, a little common decency. And uh, definitely teach your children that it is not appropriate to spit on people from the sky lift. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can all get along and live in a world where spit does not rain from the sky. You can see the scrambler down there starting to scramble. This is a one-way sky lift. So we just do the uh, turn around here at the end and then sail back from whence we came. People are allowed to uh, grill out here. There's some people uh, cooking out down there in the old carousel building, the one that 
no longer has a carousel, it's full of picnic tables. But there's some people grilling over there, and man, it smells really good. You can see off there in the distance, the waters of Lake Erie. You can see the semi-trucks down there winding their way through the trees. Look at the little uh, chariot race there. Some boats there twirling in a circle. Looks like we are heading back down into the station. Always happy to see a clown head trash can. Here, buddy, I saved a little piece of trash for you. Nom, 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 nom. That's good trash. And here, if you're tired from a long day of riding rides, you can sit down and relax with this clown here. And uh, if you want to snap a picture, it'll make it clear that this picture was taken in Waldemere. You tell me, clown. How do you manage to stay happy year after year? I think uh, there's something that we can learn from clowns. Is that when you're happy on the outside, that seeps, that seeps into you. And the happiness seeps all the way down to your core. And then you can be happy on the inside. It's the paratrooper here. Looks kind of like a giant flower if you look at it a certain way. A large, rotating, terror-inducing flower. This section will lead you into the water park there. You can see this uh, mascot of the water park, this giant lifeguard frog. It's funny, he's got like his uh, his swimming flippers on, even though his feet are normally shaped like that anyways. Got a little bit of sunscreen there on his nose so he doesn't get burned. Next up, I think we're gonna hop aboard this uh, small wooden roller coaster, the Comet. All right, look at this. I think we're gonna go to the front seat. Here we go. We're gonna head up the lift hill. You can see the chain there. This dip looks painful. <laughs> oh my, oh my, here it goes. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, there's a whole bunch of dips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more! <laughs> Woo. You know, that was actually kind of fun. Let's, uh, let's go for a second ride on the old Comet here. Looks like we got lucky again. We're on the orange train this time. We're back in the front row. 
All right, and here we go. A nice, gentle wooden roller coaster ride. There we go. Getting, uh, getting to the top of the hill where we will soon plummet. This is, yeah, this is generally a nice, uh, nicer, slower, not slow, but okay, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Here come the little dips. <laughs> here we go, round the bend. Here's a whole bunch of dips right here. Whoa! Whoa! wooden roller coaster. Here's the big one, the Ravine Flyer 2. The big, giant, massive wooden roller coaster here at Waldemere. Look, oh, you hear that noise? I'm here within the confines of the Ravine Flyer 2 structure, you have the Ace Memorial Park. This is dedicated to uh, American coaster enthusiast, the boy with the puppy licking his face there. And uh, I guess some names of some people here that have passed. Thaddeus Lewandowski and uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Now that's not the figure skater Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, her name is spelled differently. Here's the stats on uh, Ravine Flyer 2. It's called Ravine Flyer 2 because it was built in the same place as Ravine Flyer 1, which was a coaster from the early 1900s. It includes beautiful views of Lake Erie. And uh, this is the interesting part to me. It crosses over Peninsula Drive on a 165 foot arch bridge. So actually a roller coaster that crosses over a uh, public a public road. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, hop aboard the Ravine Flyer 2. Welcome back, riders. How was your ride? Okay, got the hat and glasses off. That's how you know this is serious. Sitting right in the middle, which I think is the is the uh, most medium seat. In uh, on the roller coaster train. All right, heading up to the top here. Well, that person should not be reaching out of the cart like that. Flag here, the American and Canadian flag. I guess right across the lake is Canada. You can see the lake right there. And then, oh, here we go. Ah! Oh! 
Now, Ravine Flyer 2, one of the most intense coasters I've ever been on. But guess what? There's a Ravine Flyer 3. So, unfortunately, we'll never have a chance to ride Ravine Flyer 1 as it was dismantled. Ravine Flyer 2, one of the most intense wooden roller coasters I've ever been, uh, been subjected to. You feel every every uh, bit of wood and rumble as you fly through a ravine but now it is time for ravine flyer three. Oh, normally you know in movies you have scary movies the first uh oh my gosh the, the, the second one's scarier than the first and the third one is the scariest of them all so here we go on the ravine flyer. Oh. All right, here we go again. Oh my God. Ah. water wheel there. Looks like we have ourselves a log flume. All right, let's see how soggy they get here on the old log flume. Oh, it's a fair, fair amount of sogginess. I actually got sprayed a little bit myself just standing here. All right, apparently the old log flume here is called Thunder River. There's my log, but we gotta stow our we gotta stow our items here so they don't get soaked. So let's uh, get back in the log here. We'll sit in the back. All right, slow moving log here. Oh, okay, there we go. Picking up some speed now that we are in the flume. What's this tunnel here? Tunnel looks like it's like misting spring water. Oh, there's thunder. Thunder and lightning in here. Oh, it's very misty. Oh, I'm being misted for some reason. I don't know why that was necessary. Let's uh ear, ear, ear. Let's get that cleaned up. Yeah, we just went in a tunnel that was full of mist and got us all misted and wet before we even get a chance to go down the uh the flume here. All right, big thunder here. Oh. All right, a little nervous. Look how high we up. How high uh, we are up here. Oh my goodness. You ready for the ready for the drop? Gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh man, I felt like I was gonna fly head first out of the log. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty wet too. Oh jeez. Alright. A little soggy. Alright, we're all wet. And, and soggy from the log flume. So we need to go indoors and warm up here at the Wacky Shack. Thank you for your stay when coming into my house. You must keep your arms and legs inside your car. Still attached.
before we did leave the Waldemere vicinity, I did want to take a little peek at the uh, bridge that the Ravine Flyer roller coaster travels over the road. You can see the tower there, and yeah, it just blasts over the public road, which I don't know. I don't think there's any other roller coaster that does that. I could be wrong. If you know of another roller coaster that uh, goes over a public road, leave a comment in the comment section. So thank you for joining me here today at Waldemere. You have the classic dark ride, the Wacky Shack, the most intact Bill Tracy dark ride in the world. So definitely I would recommend anyone stop at Waldemere just for that reason. They've also got some roller coasters. They got the, the Comet, which is kind of the, the perfect, you know, the perfect wooden roller coaster, not too crazy not too over the top. And then you have the Ravine Flyer 2, which is entirely crazy and completely over the top. But um, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys one thing, and that is um, for those of you who have, uh, have children, have uh, young people that you are responsible for, maybe, you know, maybe there's, there's a young person in your life, a young child in your life. I want tonight, I want you to take them aside and uh, sit them down and you tell them, don't ever spit off the chairlift. Seriously, this, this is apparently something that's not getting through to children. Uh, yeah, super gross. People spitting off the chair. Children, children spitting off the chairlift that apparently have uh, not been taught that you do not spit off the chairlift. Of course, the, the, the staff here handled it very well. Um, had a wonderful day here at Waldemere, and luckily I was not the one that uh, that got spit on. I would, that would definitely ruin my day. Maybe you know, Waldemere, maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't completely ruin my day. I'd still have a good day, but it would have, definitely have a big asterisk next to it. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you like these videos please subscribe i travel around the country i go to uh, roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun places if you'd like to help support the channel consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more with your postcard once a month from me to you also selling enamel pins in the etsy shop we have the carpetbagger monster mask pins you can buy your favorite or you can get all four for a reduced price and uh, still doing cameos doing personalized messages greetings I'm not I'm not really crying I just the, 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 the air conditioning is blowing in my eyes I'm sorry it looked, looked very awkward there like I just burst into tears <laughs> but anyways all that helps keep this roller coaster on the track this boat in the water and this ravine flyer high, high in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.